Hey everyone, welcome to Daily IELTS English, a short video where I will go over the techniques that I teach my students to help them get higher scores on their IELTS speaking test. First, I'll go over the technique and then I'll demonstrate with my own answer. Today, really short, sometimes you get a question and the answer is very, very obvious and you can really get it done quickly. We'll look at the question first. Today's question, why do some people choose to read the news on the internet rather than in a newspaper? And to me, it's a very simple, easy answer. So the first thing I might say is, frankly, it's easier. And there's two things just to keep in mind. One, frankly, stress and falling intonation. That's just a great way to start off. That way you're kind of relaxed and you've started with that stress, falling intonation. Frankly, it's easier. In other questions, you might say, frankly, it's a waste of time. Frankly, it's too difficult. In those cases, again, stress and fall. Really important, you don't want that rising intonation. Frankly, it's easier. Sounds very awkward, also not very clear. That is far more confusing than other pronunciation issues that people can have. So very quickly, here's my answer. Frankly, it's easier. You can read it on your phone and that is so easy. It is almost comical when you're on the train or on the tram and you see people with these very large newspapers. They're trying to read an article that's in the far corner up here when they could just have it directly in front of them. Uh, also, your phone, reading the news on your phone gives you the option to choose exactly what you're going to read. You're not just beholden to whatever newspaper is available at the nearby kiosk or at the 7-Eleven nearby. And it just takes a few seconds. You take out your phone, you read the article, you can put it away. Sometimes I see people on the train with these large newspapers and, you know, it takes them a couple of minutes just to turn pages and organize it and then put it away in their bag. Thanks everyone. Please remember language is a habit. Practice till you get it right and then keep going till you can't get it wrong and I'll see you next time.